And it is time to spotlight a Montana made product. We do this every Tuesday here. And Belinda Bullshoe is believed to be the first ever Native American designer to have her dresses shown during Fashion Week in New York City. Now she's got her sights set on the City of Lights. MTN's Julianne De La Rosso talks to the designer as she prepares for her Montana made segment and the cream of the crop in the fashion world. Belinda Bullshu is shopping for fabric for her next line of dresses, which she'll showcase at Fashion Week in Paris. I can't even tell you how I'm feeling. It's, I thought New York was the big one, but Paris is way beyond. She may not know the feeling, but Belinda knows dressmaking. The designer already knows what she's going to do with these materials. And these fabrics aren't couture. She gets them right here in the Treasure State at Joanne Fabrics. It's not a real high price material, but, it, but you know, their material I feel is just as good. Belinda is truly Montana made. Her grandmother taught her how to sew. She told, told us, you know, you guys better watch my sewing, how I know, how I sew because one day I'm not gonna be here. Well, after that, I start watching her. Unlike many of the designers she'll see in Paris, Belinda doesn't have a fashion degree. If somebody was to ask me to draw a design out, I'd probably be drawing up some stickmen. But she's proud that her dressmaking education and passion for fashion didn't come from a book. I can't get any better of a teacher than my own grandmother. My classroom was watching her at home and seeing how she sewed. So I feel when somebody asked me, do you, you know, if there's a degree paper, I, I don't have it. My degree paper is through my dresses. That's mine right there. Her grandmother passed away in 2009, so it was a special day when her dresses were shown in the Big Apple. The day I opened up the fashion show in New York was her birthday. So it was really emotional, not only to see my, my, my clothing line, being getting ready to go on the runway, it was because if it wasn't for my grandma, I wouldn't be there. Belinda says it's difficult sometimes being a small town girl from Browning. I want to get to the click of the fashion world, but I still want to be in my own belief. So she stays modest in presentation, but sophisticated in design. And that's because she believes in showcasing her heritage every step of the way. Not only to present, rep represent myself, my family, but represent, you know, the Blackfeet Blood, Blood Tribe, um, state of Montana. You know, a lot of people have dreams, you know, and I always tell people dreams do come true. It is a lot of patience and Never give up your dream. Even when that dream is as big as the big sky. In Great Falls, Julianne Delorso, MTN News. Now the Oxford Fashion Show, which Belinda has been invited to, is September 28th. Belinda does have a GoFundMe account, and if you'd like to help out with some of those expenses, we have the link on our websites as well. You can visit us online, kbzkrkxlf.com. Just incredible.